How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about the Washington Redskins. I mean, the NFL team in Washington. They have officially announced today, which is Monday, July 13th, 2020, that they will be no longer known as the Washington Redskins, and their new name is not really known as of yet. I'm reading different things all over the internet. Some places say they'll have a new name by this afternoon. Some say any day now, any moment now. I don't really know. All that I do know is that they will no longer be known as the Washington Redskins. I'll place the official press release from them in the description box below so you can see it and read it for yourself. Now, there are some names that have been floated out there, and I think the Redskins or the team in Washington have already had some names reserved for a while because they've probably have seen it coming because they know how these kind of these things work. These waves of wokeness has always been a thing for a long time now about the Washington Redskins. Is the name racist? Is it oppressive? I'll get to that in a minute, but I think they've kind of seen the writing on the wall that they could come to this particular point in time, and here we are. So they say the name could be the Washington Warriors, uh, the Washington Red Tails, which is named after the Tuskegee Airmen. And there's some other names, but it'll probably be the Red Tails or the Warriors, in my humble opinion. I could be totally wrong. I'm not in the front office with Dan Snyder, the owner, you know, chopping it up, talking about what the name could be, but just looking on it from the outside looking in, that'll probably be the two... Uh, main choices for names probably closer to the red tails because it's close to the red skins but then again maybe not the warriors could be good but there's also an nba team in california named the golden state warriors a very good team or at least they were a good team recently but different story i digress so the name will no longer be the washington redskins now i'm from virginia the virginia beach norfolk area to be exact which is about three hours away from washington so if you are from that area, you know that that's pretty much a de facto team out there. Either you were a Redskins fan or a Cowboys fan. When I was a kid, I was a Cowboys fan just to be cool and put on the, the blue and white and silver jacket. And I, I just I didn't like the Redskins colors and they weren't really a good team. You know, their, their name for a long time was the Deadskins. OK, but a lot of people. It doesn't matter what color you are, black, white, Puerto Rican, candy stripe. A lot of people love the Redskins, especially like some of the older guys. They have one of the whole thing, the, the Redskins coat. I didn't seen cars in Virginia painted with Redskins colors, the Redskins logo. It, it doesn't really matter. The race theme was never a problem. I never heard as a kid growing up in Virginia where you got a ton of Redskins fans, D.C., three hours away. And really having family to live in D.C., I have family in actual Washington, D.C., not, you know, outside. I got family outside, too, but I have family in the city, southeast, northeast, all of that, Capitol Hill. I never heard about the Washington Redskins being racist ever, and all my family is black, so I don't really understand that whole angle. But then again, I do understand the angle. I think the whole thing about racism comes from a lot of, quote unquote, woke folks that don't even watch football, okay? These these latte supers in the average tower in the sky don't care about football. They don't watch football. They don't like football. They probably would want for football to be abolished because of the CTE and the concussions and the so-called violent nature of it. So these people are the ones that are out there with the biggest platform, the biggest voices, talking about how the Washington Redskins name is racist the logo is racist meanwhile it was a native american man that drew the logo a lot of native american people appreciate the redskins because you're talking about a world famous regardless whether you love it or not love it or hate it a world famous team that represents them that has their image that has a logo that was drawn by a native american man all right most Native Americans, from my point of view, and I could be wrong, don't think it's racist. Most black folks don't think it's racist. Most people in general don't even think about racism and stuff as it relates to the Washington Redskins. But you have the woke folks, the media types with big platforms. They put pressure on the advertisers. And then FedEx, which is the field where the Redskins play, they put pressure on Dan Snyder, on the higher ups, on the NFL itself. And now they got to do something about it. It's not really anything to do with us, just the regular people that are watching. The base of the NFL, you're talking about conservative men 
that's like over 40. That's pretty much their base, maybe even over 45 or 50 and probably mostly conservative white men. But once you get down to it, the average NFL watcher, the majority of NFL watchers aren't that much different. So when I say it's majority conservative white men, don't let that blind you. Uh, conservative white men, conservative black men, men in general that enjoy sports, enjoy going to tailgates, cookouts, aren't that much different, okay? Football is a thing that kind of unites all of us together. We can sit down, if you drink beer, have a beer, you know, I'll get you a steak, some food or whatever, hang out with your, with your guys and watch the game, okay? A, a tradition for me and a lot of families as a kid and right now is Thanksgiving, watch the game that comes on, hang out with your family, have dinner together, you be in the den doing your thing, all, all the men, the women be over somewhere else doing their thing and that's pretty much how it works. Okay, that's a normal thing in American households. It's an American, it's an American tradition. But now all of a sudden, that scene is racist. And, you know, it won't stop here. This is only the beginning. The next thing will be, what are some other teams that may have racist connotations? The Atlanta Braves that with the tomahawk chop, is that going to be seen as racist? Florida State Seminoles, same thing. Um, I'm even hearing that the Florida Gators college team are racist because of the alligator chomp. Now, I know you're thinking, um, are alligators human beings? Are alligators racist? Well, there's an old rumor, not even the real thing about black kids being used as gator bait. This is a really, you know, this is one of those things that's out there. People believe in, it's not true. A lot of these hoaxes and things are believed without any kind of evidence behind it. So people think the alligator chomp is racist. The tomahawk chop is racist. Everything is racist. The Cleveland Indians, they already changed their logo and said that the logo was racist. They got this big C for a logo and that's it. Pretty uninspiring if you ask me. So the next thing would be the name Cleveland Indians. I don't appreciate that. Christopher Columbus got lost. This is not India. This is America or whatever the, the, the particular tribe is that he may have discovered Native Americans. So we got to name it that or just take the name off totally. Um, what's the actual end goal here to erase Native Americans from any kind of popular culture at all? OK, no more Native American names on teams. Or, or any kind of food product or anything. Same thing to do on black Americans. You know, you can't be on the, the food product, Aunt your mama syrup, Uncle Ben's, rice, um, cream of wheat. Got to take the black guy with the chef hat off of whatever kind of box he's on if it's deemed like it was a racist thing to begin with. So where do we go from here? No representation, no nothing. I mean, just put the white man on everything. That'll fix it, right? Because it's not, it's not really offensive. Just put Chef Boyardee on every kind of food product, put him on the team logo, all of that, because nobody's talking about a Notre Dame fighting Irish. Uh, it, I mean, my great-grandfather was mixed black and Irish. Therefore, I got a, a little bit of Irish blood in me. I'm offended. So how about this? Since I'm black and I have like a pinch of Irish somewhere in my bloodstream, that means I have the right to say that that image is racist and you should remove it. Now, is that going to happen? I don't think so because my opinion isn't really important. The opinion of Native Americans isn't really important. The opinion that matters is that of the advertisers who are being pressured by these latte sippers, Avery Tower, the Politicos, writer for New York Times, Washington Compost. These people really matter. The white man is actually trying to remove Native American imagery, Black American imagery. And the reason that they're using is because it's racist. I'm just trying to figure out how that makes any sense. So as I close, I want to say this. Nobody, and I do mean nobody, in my childhood coming up and really in my adulthood, just regular everyday normies ever said that the Washington Redskins were a racist team. They said that they were a bad team. They call them the dead skins because they weren't really good for a long time. But nobody said it was racist. It's just not a thing. Most people don't look at it that way. All right. Like I said, it's those that are in the average tower to say it's racist. Those that are trying to put pressure on the NFL for other reasons to say it's racist. 
those of us on the ground that just watch football and we just fans, we don't really care about that kind of stuff. All right. People that I know in Virginia and D.C., Maryland or whatever, they are just fans of the team. All right. They got their, their merchandise, the jackets, the hats. They, they, they're just fans of the team. They enjoy rooting for their team, whether they're good or bad or whatever. The average person just wants to watch football, enjoy football, and they don't want the woke circus, as Charles Barkley said, to be surrounding it. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? Do you think that the Washington Redskins name is racist? If that's your viewpoint, let me know why in the comments below. Or is it not racist? If that's your viewpoint, let me know why in the comments. You guys know where I stand. I mean, it's just football. People just enjoy watching the game. They enjoy rooting for their team, whether they're good or bad. They just It's just part of American culture. The, the whole race thing is not even really important. Nobody's thinking about that. It's just not even really a thing at all. All right. The woke folks care about the racism, but these people don't watch football. They don't really enjoy American culture, quite frankly. They think that they're above us and their objective, their, um, their purpose in life is to dictate to us the proper way to behave. But most people aren't, don't even really care about none of that. And what you're going to end up doing, wokies and advertisers and the big corporate interests, is turning regular Americans off. You're already losing a lot of viewership. You're going to lose a lot more. You keep your sponsors. You're keeping your uh, politicos happy, your leftist politicos, your far leftist nut jobs, and the writers for New York Times, Washington Compost. You're keeping them happy, but what about us? We, at the end of the day, are what really matter. If we're not, ha if we're not happy... If we're not satisfied, then nothing else really matters. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.